So here are the stats with the best void strap and Windows settings after the new Roblox patch. What's up guys? It's Ravix. I'm leaking the new void strap fast flags for Roblox after the latest update. These are the exact settings that boost your FPS, reduce lag, and make Roblox run super smooth. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Make your CPU work at full power by unlocking all processors. Alright, in this first step, we're going to unlock the full power of your computer's CPU so Roblox can run smoother, faster, and without random lag. Press the Windows key on your keyboard and type System Configuration into the search bar. When it appears, click on it to open the Settings window. Inside the System Configuration window, click the Boot tab at the top and then click Advanced Options. A smaller window will open. This is where the magic happens. In this new window, check the box next to Number of Processors and then click the drop-down menu. Choose the highest number available. That's how many cores your CPU actually has. This tells Windows to use every single core instead of just one or two, giving your PC its full potential during gaming. Once you've selected it, click OK, then Apply, and close the window to save your settings. Restart your computer afterward to activate these changes. You'll instantly notice that everything feels more responsive and snappy once you jump back in. Step 2. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU has multiple cores, which are like small workers that handle different tasks for your computer. But sometimes Windows parks some of them to save energy and that's not good for gaming. To fix this, open the Unpark CPU tool from your FPS Boost Pack. Right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator to make sure it has full access. When it opens, you'll see a list of your CPU cores. If you notice the word parked next to any of them, that means those cores are turned off. Click the Unpark button and let the tool wake up every core in your processor. This allows your CPU to use all its power, which helps your games run at maximum performance. Once all cores are active, Roblox will perform way better, higher FPS, less stutter, and smoother gameplay overall. From now on, your CPU won't hold back. All your cores will stay awake and ready to give Roblox full power instead of saving energy in the background. This is one of those steps you'll definitely feel instantly once you launch your game again. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS using Void Strap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's talk about Void Strap, the best FPS boosting launcher for Roblox after the new patch. Roblox removed many optimization tools recently, but Void Strap still works perfectly and gives you deep control over performance. Start by downloading and installing Void Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it's installed, search for Void Strap in your Windows search bar and open it up. You'll see options like Player Message Logs. Those aren't super important for FPS, but we'll get to the real performance settings next. Open the Deployment tab. Enable Multi-Instance Launching. This lets you run more than one Roblox game smoothly without crashes. You can also turn on cross-game teleportation, which allows faster switching between games. Both make Void Strap even more flexible and powerful than Block Strap. Next, open the Modifications tab. It's just like the Block Strap Mod Manager, where you can handle your mods, turn on old sound effects, or and enable visual tweaks if you prefer the classic Roblox style. Now comes the most powerful part, the Fast Flag Editor. This is where Void Strap really shines. You'll see preset flags marked with green check marks and custom ones with red X's. There are also buttons like Copy All Flags, Find Flag, and Import JSON. Click on Import JSON, paste your fast flag codes, and press Save. These codes tell Roblox to use your PC hardware more efficiently, unlock higher frame limits, and reduce lag. Then head to the Fast Flag Settings tab. Here, you'll find pre-made optimization profiles that you can turn on instantly without writing any code. These presets automatically lower ping, increase FPS, and improve smoothness. Void Strap also has appearance and shortcuts tabs like Block Strap, plus a new AI chat feature that explains what each flag does. It's still in beta, but super helpful if you're learning. Once you've saved your settings, close the launcher and start Roblox using Void Strap. 
you'll immediately notice that Roblox feels faster, smoother, and your FPS stays stable even in big servers. Right now, Voidstrap is hands down the best and most stable launcher for boosting FPS after the latest Roblox patch. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to make your GPU. Respond faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your GPU graphics card is what renders all the visuals in Roblox, and sometimes it doesn't communicate efficiently with your system. To fix that, we'll use a handy tool called MSI Utility V3, which improves how your GPU responds to your computer. Open the MSI Utility V3 tool from your boost pack. You'll see a long list of devices. Find your GPU. It might say NVIDIA or AMD Radeon and check the box under the MSI column next to it. Then, set the Interrupt Priority option to High. This tells Windows to give your GPU more priority than other background processes. If you have an Intel integrated GPU, you can enable it the same way. Once everything looks right, click Apply and close the tool. From this point forward, your GPU will communicate faster with your CPU, giving you smoother frames and less visual stuttering in Roblox you'll notice higher FPS, fewer frame drops, and more consistent performance, especially during busy moments in the game. Step 5. Turn off Windows Tracking Telemetry for faster Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Windows has a feature called Telemetry, which constantly collects and sends usage data from your PC to Microsoft. It's supposed to help improve Windows, but it can slow your computer and even cause small lag spikes while gaming. When the program opens, click Apply Only Recommended Settings. This safely disables the background tracking services without breaking anything important. If it asks to create a restore point, you can skip it because we already created one earlier. Just remember, turning off telemetry might disable small extra Windows features like clipboard history or app suggestions. If anything ever stops working, don't panic. Open O and O, shut up 10 again, and click Undo All Changes to restore everything. Check the box that says, do not show this message again, and press OK to finish. Now your system will be more private and run smoother, with Windows no longer constantly collecting data in the background. This step helps Roblox and your PC overall perform faster and with less background lag. Step 6. Disable Windows services for extra FPS. Finally, let's disable a few unnecessary Windows services that waste system resources while gaming. Press Windows key plus R, type services.msc, and hit enter to open the Windows Services panel. You'll see a long list of services running in the background. Scroll down until you find Windows Update, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the window that opens, set Startup Type to Disabled, then click Stop, and finally click Apply. This stops Windows from automatically downloading or installing updates while you're playing Roblox, which can cause lag spikes or high CPU usage. Once you're done, restart your PC to lock in the changes. If you followed every single step carefully, your Roblox will now run smoother than ever before, with high FPS, lower ping, and faster loading times across every game mode. You've officially unlocked the best possible performance Roblox can offer.